I'm modding my PSVR 2 even more with these custom lenses. I'm super excited about this. This one goes out to all the glasses wearers in chat. If you're struggling to like be comfortable wearing glasses, I feel you. You can even see on my nose, I think. I get like pressure marks on my nose from my glasses. So these potentially will fix this. VR Wave have very kindly sent these to me for free. And I'm just going to do this as live. I'm going to try and put them in and let you know if I see an improvement. I will need to take my contact lenses out once I put these in, but we can edit that. So let's have a look. These are This is my PSVR 2 headset. I want to show you kind of how the lenses get a little bit sort of greasy and dirty. Do you see? So VR Wave have provided one of these uh, microfiber cloths in the um, package itself. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to show you if your glasses were. I do it in circular motions like this. Just basically to get any grease and stuff just to the very outside of the lens, like pushed up against the ridge. So the center so spot, so the sweet spot is clear. So that's what I'm aiming to do. You can wash these microfiber cloths and then let them dry and then you can reuse them. Now, I don't think I have any scratches. Ooh. Yes, <laughs> I don't think I have any scratches on my lenses, although a lot of people I know in the comments, you guys and girls, you know, have been discovering that these scratch very, very, very easily. So, in fact, let me know in the comments if you have some scratched PSVR 2 lenses, because maybe there's a company out there with a product that can sort of bring them back. So, right, a bit more um, rubbing. I think it's very important to do this before you put the lenses on, I'm going to guess, because you don't want to have grease and stuff trapped in between. Right, so I've done that. This is where the exciting thing starts. So I'm going to take out the lenses here, and let's see how they're going to go on. So it comes in this little circular thing. And then we've got lenses on the... <laughs> we've got lenses on either side. So I'm going to take out this one. And I've never worn VR lenses, by the way. So from any company. So this is just my first impressions of, of anyone. So I'm going to take it out. And these should be my prescription. So these are prescription lenses, I should have said. So they're prescription. Obviously, they're glare-proof and... Um, um, anti-scratch material and all that other good stuff but most importantly they are uh, prescription so they don't shouldn't need lenses so i've got one here it says right on it it says an r nice um and i can see that it comes uh open like that so i'm guessing what i need to do is hang on i just touched my lens no it's like when you put a screen protector on and then like, oh my god, putting a screen protector on your phone is like... I'm so happy that most of these days come with screen protectors already on. Right, so this is the R1. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this uh, apart. Like so. And I'll show you the headset here. So I'm going to put the R... Oh, that's magnetic. Okay. Ah! Uh, is it just going to... Go on like that. I think it is. Have I got it the right way around? Sorry. Yes. I believe that is on. That is on now. Can you see? Interesting. And then it has, I can see it has two things which will be magnets. So it's magnetically going to snap on. So. Let me take out the other one. So this is the see-through part of it. I know if you wear glasses and you're like, you can't, you know, it's difficult to do the long sessions in VR, this video is probably going to be very interesting. So I can't wait to let you know how it is. So again, I'm going to take that one apart. And again, there we go. I think, I think they're in now. They're the two things. We're going to find out. Can you see? So now these ones should so just snap into place. Oh, and it has done. Wow. Let me try and get you that snapping moment. Uh, what? Okay. Can you see? God, rate my videography out of 10. Okay. So they're both in now to the power of magnets. Double lenses. I'm going to try and put it on without contacts and just see if it feels... Uh, so with contacts, see if it feels right.
Right, so it's it's blurry, so the lenses are kind of working um, because it won't be clear because I've got my contacts in and it sits pretty similar. Just want to make sure that I've got it exactly right as you can see. I'm going to put it right up here. There you go. Can you see the lenses? That's how they look in there. So, and then you can just take them out because they clip in this sort of way. There we go, I just did some thumbnail photo. That'll probably be the thumbnail photo with a close up. So now it's going to be the moment of truth. I'm going to go down, um, take my contacts out and then just put all my trust in these lenses. Um, I'll edit it out, but please, 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 while I'm doing that, if you like this video, like, subscribe, you guys and girls, absolutely amazing. Right, let me go. Let me go take these contacts out. Right, I'm back. I did get some lunch and do some other things, but most importantly, took my contact lenses out. So I got my glasses on, VR wave lenses in, and I had a, I don't know what this is, but just before we put it on, I want to show you this thing. I have no idea why it's included, but it's kind of cool. So you press this button, it's like a blue light, and it like marks a square on some white stuff. Can you see? I have no idea what this is for. But it's kind of cool. So let me know in the comments, please. But most importantly, I'm going to take off my glasses. Here we go. And now I'm officially blind. Probably legally blind. Okay. And then we're going to put on the headset. This is the moment of truth. I haven't done this before without my glasses on. Whoa. It's good. It's good. It's as good as it's as good as having contacts in, basically. So Yeah, this is as good as wearing contacts. I never need to just wear contacts for VR ever again. Right, let's do it for a drive, the ultimate test, and see if there's gonna be any um sort of shortcomings as I move around. But this is absolutely fantastic so far. It's just like, <laughs> it I'm probably sounding a bit too excited because when you think about it, all I've done is I've taken the lenses out of my glasses and fixed them to the headset. But because I'm not an optometrist, that's quite exciting for me. So let's go to Deep Forest. This is where the Olympics is going to be in our Sunday Cup. I'm sure, I'm not sure what car we're in, but I'm sure we're going to destroy the field here. And yeah, everything is absolutely clear. There's no smudging. Just want to see when we move around i think the difference is that it's a little bit heavier with the lens in so it's just drooped a little bit so i think i'll need to find a different position to have it in but the lenses aren't the lenses aren't touching if i go like this i can feel the lenses but when they're resting they're not touching my face but there is a, a bit more weight in the front but otherwise, this is like, it's quite a weird sensation because I, I'm not wearing glasses, but th th this is exactly the same as wearing contact lenses in the headset, the headset, basically. For me, there is no difference. So these are going to stay a permanent fixture for me. Sorry, I haven't said anything for a while. I'll just be driving because it's just, it's just so, I'm in the VR world now. And when you wear glasses, you're not quite in the VR world. Now VR Wave did they did give me these lenses for free, but they don't have any control over this video. They don't get to say, oh, don't say this, don't say that. They literally just said, hey, do you want these lenses? Because I'm not normally normally I'm kind of trying to find a lot of drawbacks in the product, but I am genuinely struggling here. If um, if you're a glasses wearer, let us know in the comments if you've ordered lenses before. Let us know from what companies you've ordered the lenses, and let us know what your experiences are in the comments because I'm, I'm trying to think, is the field of view? The field of view might be a little bit smaller. I'm trying to like memorize. So we have a look on the apex here. The field of view might be a little bit smaller, perhaps because the headset is a little bit further away. Because if I put it back to me, then the lenses, because they sit a little bit, are gonna hit my um, eyebrows basically. So that might be the the drawback but honestly this is coupled that i think there's been there's been a recent update to psvr2 which i'm pretty sure has improved the graphics like pretty sure but there's no distortion it's it's crazy to me it's the way they've mapped this one to one anyway so there we go got the vr wave lenses out of the box put it in even an idiot like me and i have to say let me take this off this is going to stay a permanent fixture unless i want to wear contacts Ooh things come back unless i want to wear contacts for whatever reason 
You know, I normally wear glasses. It's just more comfortable for me. And now... Oh, I'm just getting strangled with my headset. Now with these, I think... I think these are actually going to stay in. So VR Wave were quite smart by sending me some for free. Because I've liked it and now I'm going to use them. But there we go. VR lenses. I know a lot of you have asked me in the comments. This is my first impressions. We'll hopefully try some, uh, try some ones from different manufacturers as well. But I have to say, I'm very, very, very happy with these. And yeah, saves me a bit of hassle. Nice.